Hey there guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Just wanted to give you another tutorial regarding the Paragon Asset Kits and how to get animations from Mixamo for those characters. And I'm going to go from the beginning all the way through this just so it's a little bit more comprehensive instead of piecemeal like my other videos have been. So I'm going to go into the Unreal Project Browser. I'm going to go to New Project. I'm going to create a third person project with starter content. I'm going to call this Paragon and I'll just call it 3P for third person and I'm going to hit create project while that project file is being created I'm going to go into the epic library under Unreal Engine <clears throat> I'm going to filter for Paragon I'm going to go over to the Greystone character I'm going to say add to project and I'm going to pick my Paragon 3P that I just started creating and say add to project I'm going to go in here and look at my assets that are coming in. And I can see that over here. Say so add to project. I can watch here to see that it's loading, or I can watch it scroll around in the background here as that's going on. While that's happening, I'm also going to go out to a file that's on my Google Drive. And I'm going to give you guys the link for this in the description of this video. Under my Google Drive, you're going to have a link that takes you to Unreal Training Downloads, and it'll be under the Animation section. You're going to have a uemxmannequin.fbx file here. And what you're going to need that for is to go to Mixamo. If you go to Mixamo.com, you'll be able to log in there and in the section where you can upload your character you're going to upload the file that you downloaded from my animation folder on the drive once you have uploaded your character you're going to be able to go in here to the animation section and you're going to be able to search I normally look for packs and try and find uh, individual packs here that would go along with my characters so I'm going to just grab a simple one for actually let's go into combat and see if I can just grab a couple of combat animations so we go back here to search combat and we'll just look through here real quick see if there's anything maybe I can search for sword okay so we have a couple of sword ones here so I'll do uh, Let's see. I'll just grab this one real quick. Okay. And I'm going to download that. And I'm going to go without skin. And we'll leave it in the FBX format. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll grab another one. Actually, I don't want the run with sword. Here's uh, Sword Fight 1. There you go. I'll download that one. Same thing without skin. That just reduces the uh, file size. We're not going to be using the skins for those because we're going to have them on our own character. And then I'll put... Uh, let's do what's Stable Sword Outward Slash. What's that one do? All right, I'll download that as well. And once these are downloaded, I'm going to go back. I can see that my Paragon Greystone character has been added to my project because it's no longer scrolling around in the background there. And I can go over here and find that character as well. Inside of your third-person example map, under third-person BP, you'll have a blueprint section. You can go to your third-person game mode, double-click on it, and under default pawn class you can go down here and hit graystone player character or any of the characters that you happen to download for this compile and save and close that and then when you go down to your character here just delete that third person character that's in the map hit save and when you hit play 
you should have your Paragon Greystone character loaded into your map. And if you double left click and triple left click, you'll see that he goes through all of his different sequences there. He runs. He jumps. Okay. And it'll take a second sometimes for this to load up because you'll have to compile shaders and things like that. But now that I have that character in there, what I want to do is create a new folder under the content section. So I'll right click and say new folder. And I'm going to call this MX underscore animations for Mixamo. And I normally just minimize my section here a little bit and slide this over. And then I open up a folder in the background. So under my downloads, I should have those files. Actually, they're probably on my D drive right now under downloads. So there's my three files that I downloaded, and I'm going to grab all three of those. And I'm also going to take the character. Actually, before I bring these in, the first thing I want to do is under my uh, my downloads folder that's actually on my C drive. I want to go in here and get my mannequin. So I want to go to... all the way back up here go to downloads and I have my Mixamo UE mannequin FBX that's the file I showed you earlier I'm just going to drop that in my Mixamo animation folder and I'm going to bring that in and the only thing I want to do is just say convert scene unit and say import all and we'll give that a second and it'll bring it in and it'll create a Mixamo UE mannequin skeleton for me and I'll just hit save all here and save selected is fine and then what I want to do is go back and find out wherever I had downloaded those other files and as I said they would be here I'm gonna grab each of those and bring them in and when I bring these in all I want to do now is just change it so that it's going to use the Mixamo UE mannequin skeleton and also say convert scene unit and import all and what that should do it should bring those couple of animations in from Mixamo and assign them to this skeleton. Now this skeleton has the same basic structure to it as the one for the mannequin that is loaded by default with the third person example. And if I double left click this, I should see that there's my uh, animation for stable sword inward slash. I can go over here and see stable sword outward slash. And I can also see Sword Fight 1. Okay. And if I save all, save selected, what I should be able to do is to right click on this and say Retarget Animation Asset and Duplicate Animation Asset and Retarget. Now, in here, I don't see anything to be able to retarget to. So that just means I have to go set this up a little bit. So under Mixamo UE Mannequin Skeleton, I'm going to double click that. And under the Setup Rig, I want to select Humanoid. This will auto map that. And over under my Mesh for the Preview Scene Settings, I just want to hit Apply to Asset for the Preview Mesh on here. Say Save and close that. Same thing with my Paragon Greystone character or whichever character I brought in. I want to go into the Character section. I'm going to go to Heroes, I'm going to go to Greystone, and under the Meshes section there's a Greystone Skeleton. I'm going to double click him. Same thing, set up Rig. I want to make sure that he's also on the Select Humanoid Rig, and that he has a Preview Mesh assigned, and I want to save that. Now after I've done all those things, I can go back to my MX Animations section, and when I right click on Stable Sword Inward Slash, I'm going to go to Retarget Anim Asset, Duplicate Anim Asset and Retarget, and now I can see my source, and I can see my destination. I normally put an MX underscore prefix on these so that I know that they were Mixamo animations. And if I want to, I can change the destination for where this is going to go. In this case, I'm going to go to Paragon Greystone. I'm going to go to Characters, and under Heroes, he has an animation folder. I'm going to go in here and right click and say new folder 
under animations and call that Mixamo. And I'm going to pick that as the destination for that. When I say OK and retarget, it should bring over the MX stable sword slash inward into that Mixamo folder. You can say save all there, save selected or whatever. And now if I double click this, I should see the animation for the MX stable sword inward slash playing on my Paragon character. Okay? And I can do the same thing again if I go back to my MX animations and grab the other two, right click on those and say retarget anim assets, duplicate anim asset and retarget. Same thing, grab the graystone character, MX underscore the prefix, change the location to Paragon Graystone character hero Graystone animation Mixamo, OK retarget and again I will now have the additional ones in there save that and I can just double check these and you see that they work just fine and they look great so that's a real easy way if you go to my folder that I'm going to give you the link for to be able to go in there create your new third person character and uh, or your new third person template rather and bring in new animations for that character now that doesn't mean that they're going to be used here this is still the default setup so I still you know I'm not using those animations right now but if I wanted to use them what I would do is I would go into the Greystone character Greystone player character and open up his animation sequences and he has these three different animation montages based on how many times you've clicked the button and this is all found in the blueprint section for the event graph. So all you should have to do is go in here and pick a new animation montage to be able to do that. Well, we don't have any there yet. But if I were to go back to my Mixamo folder here, I could grab a hold of this, right click it, and say create animation montage. And I could call this MX underscore sword underscore fight underscore one uh, montage and save. And when you open this up, you'll basically see that you know, it's just going to play that same montage. Okay. And if I go back to my Greystone character, the player character, I should be able to now find that montage in his list of availables. Compile, save, and go back here and play. And what we should have now is if I click that, you see that he's not doing what he should do. And the reason for that is that if we look in here at our other montages, so I'm going to say browse to that asset. If I look at the montage that's in here for primary attack, this is using a couple of things in here that are called notifies. And one of them saves the attack and the other one resets the combo. And there's a couple of other settings in here that I'm not entirely sure what they do or if they have an impact on anything. But what you can play around with is if you go to your montage, if you go down here to the notify section, you should be able to right click, add notify from the skeleton. And one of them is going to be save the attack. And go in here and add a notify, skeleton notifies, and reset the combo. Save that now. And when we go back in here, let's see if that's fixed it. So again, single and double click. And that's still, you see it's, it's wanting to do something because now it's at least firing the new sequence. So again... We could try a different thing now, which would be 
let's try this. We'll take and delete that montage altogether. Actually, let's uh, let me remove it from the um, the Greystone player character first. That doesn't take too long. We'll go back here and put this back on the attack primary C montage. Compile and save. And then we'll go into the Mixamo one, and we should just be able to delete that now. It's not referred to anywhere. And we'll try something slightly different. We'll go in here to our attack montages. I'm going to right click on the attack montage C and I'm going to say duplicate. And I'm going to call that attack montage, call it D. And I'm going to drag that over to my Mixamo section and just say move here. Okay. So now I have that. If I open this up, that's the old attack primary D montage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one that says MX Sword Fight 1 and drag it into here. And I'm going to take the attack primary C and delete it. I'm going to save this. Okay. We're going to go to Greystone Animations, I'm sorry, to Greystone Player Character. And we're going to change this to be Primary Montage D. Compile, save, and now let's see if that fixed anything. So it's trying to, there's the sequence. Okay. And a matter of, I think a lot of these are really about getting timing down to get it to play those sequences. But it's just an example of we've taken a um, we've taken a set of animations from Mixamo, pulled them down, assigned them to our character, and then also substituted them into the montage. You'll just have to play with these until you find the ones that actually work out the way that you want them to. Okay. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit, gives you something to uh, to work with and to mess around with. Again, my name's TC Mabe. I'll have the link for that in the description of the video, and hopefully it uh, helps you out a little bit. Again, I'm not a professional educator. I'm just someone like you trying to navigate my way through game creation with Unreal Engine. And uh, if you have any suggestions for improving the content of the videos, please feel free to leave me a message. Like, follow, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.